Hey guys, welcome. Welcome. Today we're gonna give you some reason why you should date a Filipina woman. Mm, there's lots of good reasons. So if you're interested, keep watching. In this conversation, my husband Gary is going to join me and I'm sure he got plenty of ideas what to say. Well, there's plenty of good reasons why you should date a Filipina. Or marry. Um, or, or get married, you know, it usually starts with dating though. And, uh, <laughs> but but that's, that's, that's what we want to emphasize is people that are looking for a, uh, wanting to date a Filipina for a long-term relationship, hopefully leading to marriage. Exactly. Or certainly, uh, certainly at least uh, someone they want to be with mm -hmm. for their life. Committed relationship, you mean? Yes. Yeah. This is really, I think, very important, uh, especially if you want to have a, a family one day, having mm -hmm. someone that's very family orientated, very traditional woman. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, y y well, you can talk about how loyal Filipinas are to their families. Mm -hmm. I mean, in what ways are, are Filipinas? Um, family orientated would you yeah. say they really value the family you know they're willing to sacrifice like i'm sure some of you already heard that a lot of filipina go abroad to find a job mm. and support their family back here in the philippines mm. right have you heard that well yes I, in fact i think it's um the philippines has one of the highest populations of, of the world of people that go overseas to to work exactly you know uh, and they do it um Actually, some, sometimes the conditions they're in overseas aren't always great and it's not easy, but they're making sometimes triple or four times what they make here yeah. and they do it often to help support the family. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if I always agree with it. No. Yeah, it's especially not always if they, fair. Yeah, especially if they, they have their own kids here. That's when I, yeah. I, don't, I don't like them leaving their own kids to go overseas yeah. to work. But, uh, but the point is, Filipinas are—they care about their families. Is—is yes. is what we're trying to say, and I think that's uh, an important trait to have if you're if you're looking to date a Filipina for a long-term relationship. Yeah, they will really value you. So Filipina are really respectful, not just yes. Filipina. I like in general, most Filipino people are very respectful, mm. right? Mm. Do you notice that? Uh, yeah, and they're respectful. They're not just uh, respectful to, to you. They're respectful to you, your friends, your family. Yes, they're parents. They're respectful uh, to everyone. They, they um, respect your position as, as a man mm -hmm. in the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely respect is, is, is a good thing to have. Mm -hmm. uh, biblically speaking, it's a good thing for, yeah. for us to have. Men, men want to be respected. Yeah, they believe in a tradition married, you know, they will let their men to lead them, you know, spiritually or in a, inside the household, mm. you know, and the Filipina, just to add that, you know, Filipina are very feminine. Do you agree? Most yeah. Filipina, they like being a woman, you know, mm. they want to do the women duty <laughs> do you agree with that yes yeah yeah and they're, they're, i think they're also they are respectful because the philippines is full of uh catholics christians mm. uh most of them have a a, a little sense of, of of their religion right and yeah. uh um, I think that adds to their uh, desire to want to be respectful. Yeah, and also they practice that inside their household. Like the, the parents always teaching the children, the Filipino parents, they teaching their children to, you know, the older, have you noticed that when you go in some houses, the children will do manual, oh, the, yeah. like that. Mm, mm. The, the par mm. Because the parents teach them to respect the elders. You know, I'm actually surprised about foreigners why they just call the older their name, the first name, like Gary. Like mm. did, we don't do that in the Philippines. We usually call them like Ate, Kuya, Sir, or you, have you noticed that? Mm. Like they really respect you. Yeah. You know. Yeah, respect very important. So another another good reason to date a Filipina. Yeah. Okay, so, let's move there on. There you go. <laughs> I definitely agree with that and well first of all I think one of the uh, mistakes people make about um, Filipina foreign relationships mm -hmm. they often the this, this, this stereotype is they believe they're they're in it for the money that they're um, mm -hmm. 
that there's not true love, mm. that the, you know, of course, there's always some cases yeah. where uh, that's, that's the relationship mm. is based on, on money or something. Yeah, but yeah. Um, I definitely believe in most cases it's not. The Filipinas uh, really Faithful. want love. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and when you really have that love, they will be very loyal and faithful to and you. Faithful to you. Uh, with, without a doubt. In fact, if you don't have that real love, if it is based on just money or what you mm -hmm. can provide, you know, then then there's maybe they're not going to be so faithful. Exactly, you I know? agree. So, yeah. you know, it's Filipinas really do want true love, mm -hmm. and and uh, if you give them that true love, they will love you back, and they will be the most loyal partner you could ever wish for. Yeah, and also they want a committed relationship. They don't want to date for fun. Most Filipinas, they want to settle down. You know, have you noticed that? Right? Like, yeah, sure they do. It can also be negative. They want to pressure the man. They want to secure it right away. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. So once you, you know, once you gain the trust with your Filipina, once you guys are secure with your relationship, she would be really faithful to you. And that's what I notice when it comes to our friends. They're very loyal. Like if I see hot guys, I cover my eyes. <laughs> <Sure you're laughs> <babe. laughs> By the way, when I see a hot guy, I look too, and I'm like, thinking, damn, I wish I was hot like that. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't like this. <laughs> is, my, is, is, is my wife still gonna love me after seeing that hot guy? <laughs> but that's where the loyalty comes. <laughs> they absolutely will. Their, their eyes will be for you only. Yeah. You know, not that you can't admire someone that's good looking or beautiful, you of course know. Because you're looking at you, you look at sure, you how see, women, but you, you know, see, doesn't, mean, doesn't that, mean you want them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> so loyalty, <laughs> loyalty, very important. Yeah, so what's next? So, most Filipina are affectionate and loving. Do you agree with that? Oh, they're very affectionate and they, they, they're. Affection often, um, well, they like to, in, in public, they're, they're affectionate, they like to hug, mm. hold hands, yep. just display their love for their man, and yeah. uh, they're, they're very affectionate, they're very caring about you, uh, you know, if you've, uh, if you've had a bad day and uh, mm -hmm. you, 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 you sit down and you want to just, you yeah. know, t tell them what a terrible day I'm having, yeah. they'll really care about you enough yeah. that to sit there and give you a hug and love you and listen, mm -hmm. and they will listen to you and they, they will care. Yeah. So they're, they're very affectionate. Yeah, and if you're having a hard time, they will try, Filipina try their best to make you happy, to make it feel better. Yeah. Yeah. You agree? yeah. Like for Gary, I usually, like, you know, if he's having a hard time, you know, that you notice that I cook you your favorite food to mm. make you happy. Yeah, I know you do. To cheer yeah. you up. So, yeah. yeah, Filipinas are affectionate and loving, and even, even at uh, nighttime, they're uh, <laughs> affectionate and loving. Now, now. <laughs> I do want to, as a Christian, I do want to emphasize it's important to get married first. Mm -hmm. um, however, um, when you are in that uh, part of your relationship, mm -hmm. they're also very affectionate when it comes to showing, <laughs> I don't have to be careful with my words, <laughs> showing their love to you. Yeah. They care about your happiness. How's that? Yeah, they put your happiness <laughs> first before They want to please you. Yes, exactly. Oh. <laughs> Look at, wow, please. <laughs> That's, you know what this is? This is a pleased grin. <laughs> That's a happy grin. Yeah. A satisfied grin. People ask me often in the comment section asking me, do Filipina like to hold hands in public? You know? Mm -hmm. Filipina do. They are proud of you and they like to hold hands in Filipina or we're gonna talk about that later a very <laughs> jealousy and they always want to hold their man oh he's mine and all that so if you're Filipina doesn't hold your hands maybe she's not really into you <laughs> you know what that's a good point because you and and you you'll know this sometimes you see the Filipina and and the man and they're not even walking together she's walking a few steps behind or you know and she was, and that's that's 
that, that might be a sign that she's not into you. Yeah, she embarrassed, you know, that you are her boyfriend or hus uh, husband. But, you know, Filipina usually very proud of you. They like to hug and, you know, hold hands in public to show people that they are yours. <laughs> so. That is a good one because Filipinas don't complain as much mm -hmm. about discomforts and stuff like people from, from other countries. Like, as an example, you know, you go on a trip and maybe you have to take a long bus ride or it's mm -hmm. a long journey. They're just happy, they enjoy, they sit there, enjoy the ride, they're not complaining about, oh, it's hard or it's uncomfortable or I'm tired. There's no nagging and complaining. They're, they're, they're really, they enjoy traveling. Yep. Uh, and, and, you know, Another thing, I mean, you can, you can go to a hotel. Sometimes we've all done this where we check into a hotel and it's not meeting up to your expectations. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not, you know, it's disappointing. Mm -hmm. The Filipino will never complain. They're happy. Yeah. They're just like, just happy to be out there, you know. Of course, us Westerners sometimes will complain and nag when things aren't um, what we expect. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a great thing. It's another good reason to date a Filipino. You can go... Um, go anywhere with them, mm -hmm. travel any, any form of transportation, you can, you can rough it, be uncomfortable, and the Filipinas just can enjoy, they're going to enjoy being with you and uh, yep. enjoy traveling. They're still positive, you know, <laughs> they find uh, positive in every way, like even in a difficult situation, they still find, you know, way to smile and laugh, and they're very outgoing, they have, most Filipinas have outgoing personalities, do you agree with that? Yeah. You know? So they are also appreciative in life. So as you said, even, you know, you stay in a hotel which is not so comfortable, they're still going to be okay with that because most of our, most Filipina are very appreciative in life and they're contented. Mm -hmm. They love food. Yeah. And they're really passionate about their own cuisine, their Filipino, mm -hmm. until we been with them many years like mm. me and you and then they start changing their taste but mm. you know when we first met you know you're really into the filipina food and they love their little gross delicacies exactly <laughs> and i say gross because to me they're gross to you they're not but, they're delicious um, but, but filipinas are proud of their food mm -hmm. right and they love their food and they, and a lot of them love to cook and that's another good reason to date a filipina but and not not all of them i'm generalizing most, most are yeah they're, they're are. happy to cook and like in your case you you know like we may have covered this earlier about you know be pleasing a man mm -hmm. but you you like to cook to make me happy you you, you enjoy the fact that your efforts are going to be appreciated and they're going to make me a happier person yeah and you know? I love cooking, you know, I find joy while I cook. I, my mom once told me when I was, you know, grow, growing up, my mom told me that you need to cook because when you get married, you need to cook for your husband. Yeah. Th that's, that's the Philippine culture, I guess, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. they teaching their just girls, you know, because mm -hmm. we believe that that's the girl's duty. So English speakers. We might not be very, very fluent in English, but we can speak a basic and we're willing to learn. You know, right. we're very open minded. Right. Well, this, this is why in the video, I don't know if you've titled this, but this is a reason why to date a, a Filipina as opposed to another girl from a different Asian country. Mm -hmm. Because the, out of all the Asian countries around here, the Philippines, I, correct me if I'm wrong, or, or somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but. Um, I think the Philippines is the only one where they pretty much mostly all have an understanding of the English language. Mm -hmm. And I say, you know, you go to a deep province, you meet a girl, maybe, maybe mm -hmm. they can't speak English. But yeah. generally, I, I mean, I've been, I've been here for 12 years and mm -hmm. uh, I found that it's very rare to come across a Filipina that can't speak a word of English. Yep. Especially if you go to a city like in Cebu, mm. I'm actually surprised how fluent they are when it comes to English speaking. Right. right. So that's another really good reason if you're looking to come out to date an yeah. Asian woman, the Philippines offers, uh, you know, women that speak English. And I think that that's, that's huge because it's kind of helps in a relationship when you can communicate, communicate. with each it's other. Very important. It really is. Yeah. 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 So, that's another big positive. Yeah. What we mean by that is um, once you've established your relationship, they, you know, you, you've got that love and trust mm. and loyalty mm. and everything else we've been talking about. Um, 
your Filipino, because they're loyal and they're loved out, they'll, they'll happily move away from their family mm. if you wish to do that, if, if, if you wanted to take them back to your own country. Mm -hmm. They will be willing. And, you know, one thing I think, another thing people, people misunderstand mm -hmm. about Filipinos is they, Filipinos are not looking to get out of their country. They're not looking for a foreigner because they want to go to another country. And again, of course, there are always some that are, mm. but generally that's not the goal. They often go because maybe the, that's what the man wants. He wants to go back to their country, yep. but they don't complain. They're happy to go with you. Of course, they would want you to bring them back to the Philippines yep. on regular um, trips because they, want, they wouldn't want to be away from their family for, mm. for too long. Yep. I mean, at least if you're going to bring them back to America or whatever, at least plan on one trip a year to come visit the family. Right? Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, they probably won't be very happy. But um, they'll relocate any, anywhere you want. And even in the Philippines, uh, if, if you want to live on a different island from where the family is, you say, well, I, I want to move here. They'll, they'll be willing to go yeah. with you wherever you pretty much want to go. Yeah, so they're willing to sacrifice for mm. love for, mm. for you. Yeah, yeah for and because partners. they're loyal and because they're respectful. And again, a lot of things we've talked mm. about exactly. today. So... There you go. So, in conclusion, there are so many pros in, in dating a Filipina. So many good reasons. I mean, they're kind, they're loving, they're affectionate, they're beautiful, they're family orientated. They, they're generous. They're, they're generous. Uh, there's, just, there's just so many good reasons, yeah. you know. So, um, I hope this list has been helpful and I hope some of these these things we've discussed will, will help you make a decision if, if, you know, if you've thought about coming to the Philippines to date a Filipina. Hopefully we've given good reasons. Yeah. What do you think, honey? I think so, yeah. I agree. So if you're interested finding a Filipina, you mm. can start using our link to Christian Filipina. Mm. Christian we Filipina is the only affiliate we have. Uh, and we, we chose to be an affiliate because of the amount of people we know that mm. have actually met on Christian Filipina. Yep. Uh, now, like any dating site, you have to be careful. The, the thing we like about Christian Filipina, and it's a little more expensive, but in life you get what you pay for, mm. but they do better background checks, you know. For instance, when you see a profile picture and stuff, you, you, know, you know that you're looking at the actual person that you're talking to and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. They, they, they do um, some good checks and, you know, uh, or, or of course, always be aware with any uh, online dating mm. site, but if it's something you've considered, at least check out Christian Filipino and use our link because that's, you know, that's one way you can help support our channel as well, mm -hmm. um, you know, by, by going through our link. Exactly. Oh. So, thank you guys for watching until the end and mm -hmm. I wish you guys a good luck finding... Good luck finding your future <laughs> wife. Filipina. Yeah, so thank you. God bless everyone. Mm, Bye. God bless. Goodbye.